Hello YouTube, Exit Rider here, and today I'm taking out the Honda CB650R Neo Sports Cafe. I mean, this bike has got a little bit of history. It's your typical four pot sound there. Okay, so first impressions of this bike is how very nimble it is. It's got quite a short wheelbase on these bikes. Which make it good, uh, really good in traffic and filtering. And that great sound as well. The dash is very readable. With a, a decent gear indicator. The uh, speed is highlighted quite nicely. And the um, rev counter is quite nice as well actually. It's all set out really nicely. Lovely four pot sound. Alright, let's kick it down, let's give it a bit of welly. Okay, 4,000 revs. Let's open her up. Just get you in the speedo. Here we go. It's up to speed in a nice amount of time. Ever so smooth. Very, very light vibrations. Roll on power. That's enough there. Oh, that's not good, does it? For those that don't know, this road has never slowed up here, so there uh, might be an accident down here somewhere. Switch myself on full beam. Make myself known. Nice, all the people moving out of the way for me. All these people moving out of the way, isn't it nice when they do that? Oh, I thought I was going to be able to show you a bit more of um, what this thing's like on the, on the dual carriageway. But you saw what you needed to see anyway, so wind blast wise, it's there, but it's not... Uh, they, they've done quite a nice job of uh, making it aerodynamic. I was just getting quite a bit on my chest more than anything. Certainly a fun bike when you wind this thing up. It, uh, it goes well enough, it goes, you know, it's still a quick bike. I did ride the CB1000 as well last year and uh, that was just insane, absolutely insane. You, know, you can get to really naughty speeds in no time on that one but this one here is uh, just right really. Let's take that oil, coming over, no you're not. There's no quick shifter on this one, although you can get them. But, uh, to be honest, it, it changes gear quite nicely anyway. Clutch is ever so light, really. Really light, it's lovely. It's just right. my favourite junction. It's always nice when you get over the other side of this one. Whee! There it is! <laughs> Brilliant. It's great to get on one of these again. And certainly being this one, I, I very nearly bought this one. It was, it was in my uh, top of the list to get next. Um, when I had my CB300. Um, would have been a good choice actually. I would have enjoyed this. So I can, can have an awful lot of fun on it and it's um, very manageable power. It's uh, You have to uh, you know be conscious that it is a 650. It is going to lose your license if you're not careful. But it's very very fun power. So I've got a lot of, lot of fun power in this bike. 
it makes you want to just rip it, you know, it makes you want to go for it. Comfort wise, after a while for experience, these seats, uh, the seat does get a little bit hard. Certainly if you're riding all day, you sort of feel it by the end of the day. If you just pass your test, um, this is quite a popular choice for, for people who have just got their big bike uh, license. And um, through my experience of uh, bigger bikes and, uh, you know, biking experience, this would uh, be a very good choice for you, I think. Or even if you sort of got, a, you know, bigger bikes already and you want to move down a bit, then uh, again, this is, this is great. Yeah, you could have a lot of fun on this bike. And you can learn a lot, actually, on this bike as well. But, uh, you know, just learning your craft, really. Whether it's cornering or... How to use the power on bikes. This is a, a really good choice. Another good thing with, with all the Neo Sports Cafe range that, uh, and, and you know, including my CB300 that I had and uh, the 650, and even the 1000 actually to an extent, uh, when you go around the corners, um, the, the wheelbase is so short that it, it just carries you through in no time. You, you sort of think, oh, I better slow down here a bit. Um, but in fact, you, you just tip it in. Yeah, <laughs> he says. You tip it in and uh, you're just out the other side in no time it, it just doesn't uh, it just corn goes around the corner really really well uh, at standstill my feet are flat on the floor it is a perfect seat height obviously I put all the the stats up at the end um, but it, it feels it feels very solid and very stable and uh, you, you feel in control with a lot of the four pots and certainly the the uh, liter bikes the thousand cc bikes I generally find that um, they, they tip in um, a bit too easily, uh, it, almost like they're, they're, they're top heavy, uh, but I don't get that with this bike at all, it's, uh, it's just got a really nice feel to it. Yeah, it's uh, braking wise, it's very good as well, it's very positive. The front is ever so bitey, and uh, the rear is what I call Honda rear. It's, it's, uh, <coughs> it's, it's okay. It's, it's good enough. Right, so take it for the walk round then. Okay, so the Honda CB650R Neo Sports Cafe. What a bike! absolutely uh, really really nice really tight typical honda tight and uh, and refined as well having the four pot engine is absolutely fantastic it's uh, it sounds great it's smooth as butter it's uh, a fantastic power plant and i can see why they use these for training and and alike it's very very um, good to handle it's easy to handle rain corners it's easy to handle at low speeds absolutely fantastic but styling wise is where it really comes into its own it's all the lines and the curves on it are just right just in proportion okay so switch gear wise we've got the uh, kill switch here start button brake and that's it for that side very very simple okay for the left hand handlebar we've got the torque control which is on or off low beam high beam and pass hazards horn indicator again very very simple nothing too complicated about it okay for the dash we've got the rev limiter here the gear indicator time miles per hour and the miles and engine temperature here it's all very readable uh, it does get a little bit lost if it's in direct sunlight uh, but uh, overall uh, the the white on black does tend to work very well Okay, so the main competition for this bike is the MT-07 and the SV650. They're all great bikes. They're, they're all, uh, there's no wrong decision on that, uh, what, when you go for. 
Um, for me, this is probably going to win um, only because the MT-07 is, is a fantastic bike, uh, but it's quite punchy on the throttle, whereas this is a lot more forgiving and uh, it will take off when you want it to, um, but it it's just suits me a bit better. Um, the SV650, I can't honestly tell you because I haven't ridden one yet, but they certainly sound great. They've got the V-twin, um, but this is a very good choice for, uh, uh, you know, as a as a, a bike to own for general commuting, absolutely brilliant. Great in the city, it, it will uh, filter well, it will go in and out of traffic really well. It's good, it's a really, really good bike. It's, it's uh, what you want out of a bike for everyday use and for a bit of fun at the weekend. Right, let's have another go. Right, so as you can see with the pegs, when I'm sat on here, my, my legs are pretty much 90 degrees. But they have got it just right. I'm 5'8 with a 30 inch inseam and my legs are at a 90 degree angle. The stand is, again, it's quite, uh, it's, it's always the same with Honda. They don't really stick out very far. Um, you have to be a little bit careful how you pitch the bike when it's on the camber. Um, they they uh, they don't come out far enough really, but uh, but again you can live with it. You just have to be conscious of it. It's so nimble. It's, it's unbelievable. It's probably the most nimble bike I've ridden this year. I reckon. See what it's like for uh, doing a U-turn. Again, these bikes are normally, all clear behind, are normally quite top heavy, but uh, it's in balanced incredibly well, this bike. If that was one of the later bikes, I'll probably be tipping in a bit more, I'll be fighting it back, but uh, that just seemed very natural. Sixth gear now at 27 miles an hour. Still got plenty of roll on if I need it. Even in sixth gear, you just ride around in sixth gear all day on this bike, I reckon. There's another bike over there. That's the Speed Triple. I'd like to try one of them. I've had a few requests actually to try the RS. And as much as I'd like to try it, it's just a matter of it being in. I think they, uh, I think Bridge did have one at one point, but. Um, I don't think they have any more, so... Okay, so all that's left to say is uh, in conclusion, it's a fantastic bike. It's very, very good. Um, it's a very good commuter, very honest bike, I suppose you could describe it. Um, so yeah, so if you're thinking of buying one, then yes, I would say you, you're on, on the right track. Uh, thank you as ever to Bridge. Uh, please give it a good thumbs up as well. Uh, it's a huge help to me and helps me keep the channel alive. And uh, if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button. Again, it's a massive help and it uh, helps me bring you these reviews. Uh, thanks a lot and I'll see you next on the next one. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>